Well, you guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add an Ethernet port to your laptop, even when it don't have one. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button. As you can see here, we don't have any uh, Ethernet ports on this laptop, and sometimes this is common uh, with some of the smaller type uh, laptops here. But if you do want to connect up via an Ethernet port, then it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. Now, sometimes uh, Wi-Fi is not acceptable because obviously the connection speed might be really low and you want to get something like this quack quack uh, type of extension cable uh, which does have an ethernet port on it it comes with a type c uh, connector on the end here and some laptops don't even have that connector but you can look online and find ones that do have this ethernet port with a different type of connector on the end here this is the one that i just had to hand and uh, someone asked the question so i wanted to answer it so I've got this other little thing here which has got a USB port on one end and a Type-C connector on the other. So all I need to do is plug in the Quack Quack extension on here and then plug this into the laptop. Now this could be any type of laptop. This is a Chewy laptop and uh, if you've not heard of Chewy then check out their laptops. They're pretty awesome uh, for the money. So let's take a look here. We're going to plug this into a USB port here and uh, we're going to then plug that there and then I'm going to get my Ethernet cable and plug it into the end here. And that's all we need to do really, we just need to stick in an Ethernet cable here. So I'm just going to plug this straight in. Now Wi-Fi is okay if you're really close uh, to the Wi-Fi router, but if you're pretty far away it can be pretty poor. So you see we've got a blue light flash in there to let us know that we have connection and uh, we are now getting an Ethernet connection on our taskbar here you can see it's saying we have ethernet connection so that's good and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can uh, get yourself an ethernet port added to a laptop that doesn't have one i'll just quickly uh, browse to say bbc website here so you can see and uh, just push enter and there we go i can search for stuff on the internet with an ethernet port with a laptop that doesn't have one it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and it's very useful for people that just don't like to use wi-fi that prefer to use an ethernet and if you've got an ethernet cable uh, near you and you want to use it but the laptop doesn't support it then you can use this particular type of method anyway i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.